the Muay Thai belt secured firmly around his waist, Rod Tang is hungry for a new challenge. His new goal is to win the one flyweight kickboxing world title, currently held by Ilya Sanahachi. But before Rod Tang gets his shot at the gold, he has to get past Spanish sensation Alejandro Rivas on the 26th of February. Kugikan, Sumo Arena. We've got 10,500 screaming fans ready to watch Shane in the distance. This fight's rarely go to a decision. Oof. In the blue, we've got Alex Rivas back in November beating Murakoshi and won in this fight with Take. So here he is getting exactly what he wished for. Oof. We've got our Futake. He is just in and out and fast. He was ch ch chasing him down. Mm. Must be careful. Pretty impressive in his uh, recent game performances. Yeah. Great with his combinations and fast on his feet as well. Yeah, very, very quick. Nice guard.
sees. Looking for that again. Nice little trip there. Good balance shown by Gonzalez. Now, what Rotten was complaining about is you're not allowed to pick somebody up and then throw them. That's what he was questioning the referee about. I'll try to get forward. Right there from Gonzalez. Two punch combination. Gets out of the way to the counter. Right hand. Base from. That one to the lowest spine. Don't put it in the free drops and strikes them. Oh, Tom comes forward again. He wants a pull with Gonsalves. Gonsalves refuses to be sacrificed. Hey, 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 Great Brazilian kickboxers of one time, which over the years, the likes of Carbay, Frank Chodos, and of course, one time, of course, my other son today. This is going to fill me up. One time, backing up Gonzalo, scooping forward, punch into the midsection. I get there from one time. It's time for Gonzalo to start landing some scoring shots now. Backing up still, he's got good head movement, he's taking all the power shots, but he's not getting suckered in by the psychological games of Rotang. Arthur hand elbow from Gonzalez, double four rounds got against the round kick. One side continually on the front foot. Stop! Well, right, right, right. One was complaining about the throw off the top earlier, but how about that from one side? Trying him up with almost a joint there. Left two from one side. Roundhouse kick. Good counter right hand from Gonzalez. Southpaw starts his goal to all fronts now, Gonzalez. And it's working for it. And that right hand slips right through the guard. It's scoring heavily. And Gonzalez. Swing back down over. And Gonzalez. Got out the Nathan. Switching starts from Gonzalez. Just trying to get down one second on the ball. 30 seconds. Sidestepped, fell Hakim Amesh, pushed forward, swings the head out. Top of the top from Rodzak. Now, while those might not necessarily score for Rodzak, what it does is it mentally deflates Hamish. It means he's going to pick himself up off the canvas. Here comes Hamish with a powerful right hand now. Stick for a big for the Frenchman and cross an elbow. And Rodzak responds. Comes in again. Continually, Hamish having to pick himself up from these dumps of Rod Tanchukwanda. It's deflating, it buries your ego. Look at that control, it just shows the dominance that the Iron Man has inside there. The way that he's able to sidestep, sweep, and then he uses his hand to parry the head down of Hamesh to add even more force to the fall. Clinch, charge for the age. Fight me throwing there from Rod Comes forward again, that high double forearms guard, throws the uppercut of the hook, uppercut from Hamesh, crossing elbow, trying to open the cup on top of the head, glancing right hand from Hamesh. Gotta be careful not to drop that head too low, he'll open it, help himself up for a rising naval gun tag. Referee Elias Delapsus breaks it. A minute 35 remains, third and final round, a point tie contest here in Tokyo, and another tap from Rod Tang, a plus count pitch. Michael, you can see that Rudtang has adapted his guard very well to the small gloves. It's very hard for Hamesh to land the hooks to the head. You can see him land them, and the way that uh, Rudtang is wearing those on his forearm is extremely professive. I like to see Hamesh throw uppercuts. I like to see him, how he's working the body. That works well, too. Uppercuts to the action, body action. shots are how he's going to get this round. Jam two from Hamish, a little slow though now from the Frenchman. Glancing left from Rodzak, step up elbow from the tie. Crossing elbow wins all out on that one. Rodzak certainly has some powerful cell left here. 
with 35 seconds on the clock. Hakim Harris glances towards his corner. They are imploring him, but it's in French. I don't know what they're saying, but I think I get the general gist. It's come forward. You've got to throw hell for leather now. Uppercut from Hamish misses to his corner. Find those holes in Vartan's guard. He's got to land those uppercuts. Go to the body. Nice elbow there from Vartan to the orbital of Hakim Hamish. There's the uppercut from the Frenchman. Vartan is using those elbows beautifully. Every time he gets in the range, every time he's able to control the position of the arms, he's able to sneak those elbows right over the top and connect on the right. Traditional respect before they engage. And the Iron Man unleashes with kicks to the inside of the line, to the outside, and then a tick kick takes one in return. It's a battle of the feet at the moment. Exchanging, slapping kicks. It will leave bruises for sure. And it's Top T who's on the rough end of it. He goes upstairs one time. It's pushed back. Man, I need some slow motion replays on those kicks of Quartan. Oh, coming with some serious speed. Really. 30 seconds. Oh, and it's coming to play as well at the 40 second mark. Top T just hoists up his shorts. Seeking any protection he can get from these body blows that are coming in at the base. It's coming with some serious power as well. It's a, it's a slap, but it's also a thud to the inside of that leg kick as well. So he can't allow Rodan to back his get back up against the fence right there. You can see him just slowly inching forward, throwing those leg kicks to just kind of pin Sokti there. Like see Sokti circle out. It's not an exaggeration to say that these kicks are coming in so quickly. Sometimes you're not sure what you've seen. Nice left hand work. Put his body and head on him. Superb offensive work here. He bashes himself with the chest and with the face. He's taking more punishment for himself than he has from his opponent in the last 10 seconds. Really up for this. And those legs of Sok are taking some punishment. He just pushes his opponent back four or five feet, giving himself a little bit of respite. He doubles up on a jab that lands short. But at the moment, he's off the pace. Sokti's kind of mesmerized at this point. He's got to do something to respect to Bratan. He's too hyper-experienced. 21 years. Oh, he fainted the jab and then came around to the a beautiful left hook. Sokti just showed his intention to fight there with a big overhead right that might possibly have brushed the nose of Bratan. But at the moment, one of the Really quite exquisite work is coming from the top. And it's relentless. There's no room to breathe. Keep coming in every couple of seconds. Jab, kick. So far, I like how he's throwing the combination. He steps, he, then he throws that right kick or that left kick, and he steps back. And that's when Rod takes starts to come forward, and Haggerty's able to hit him or something. Front kick again from Haggerty, finding that he drops out leg kick from Rod Zach. All that pressure, a hooking punch is in the power of the full ass clutch. You see how many tried to slice and dice and fall under with the uppercut over. Good front kick, nice long extension off the lead leg. Jab from Haggerty. A little bit of deflection right there from Rodting as that jab came in lightning fast. Nice tip to the lead five from Haggerty. Then skips up inside five kick, takes the jab again, takes an outside lead kick. Body shots. Oh, oh it's a shot's hurting. Don't let the shot's hurting the champion. Haggerty's got to move. 
right side motion. He's going to take that liver. He's going to try and blast the right side of the body of the champion. And Hagerty needs to find a way to cut him. Needs to find a way to open him up with the elbows there. Thank <laughs> you. 